Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a technical look at the euro versus U.S. dollar for March 22nd, 2016. Uh, obviously, we had some uh, terrorist activity come out of Brussels here today. 26 people dead in uh, suicide bombings uh, at airports, at subway metro stations. Our thoughts and prayers go out to those people and their families, of course. Uh, from a trading perspective, we saw the euro versus US dollar take it on the chin as a result of that activity. And what we saw was, uh, from a technical perspective, the price moved below a key level here, a level here that was providing support. That was the 38.2% retracement of the move up from the pre-FOMC low last Wednesday, which bottom here against the 200-hour moving average, to the high that we saw on Thursday. Uh, and uh, that 38.2% retracement came in at the 112.33 level. And that level was support here, was support here. It was support in earlier trading here today in the Asian Pacific session where we also found support against the 100 hour moving average. Market moved higher, came up to a topside trend line here and uh, sold off. And uh, at the time of the, uh, the, the bombings, the market fell sharply below that 38.2% retracement. So not only from a fundamental reason, we also saw the technical break uh, to the downside side. What, um, what makes that level so important as well is that the uh, reactionary corrective move here, uh, the after the fact, okay, the bombing's over, now everything's back to normal, which it necessarily does not mean that that's going to be the case, but uh, we did get the reactionary move back to the top side here. That stalled right against that 38.2% retracement level at 112.33. So what do you make of that, traders? Well, that says to me that there is uh, there was support here at the 38.2, and now there's resistance against that 38.2% retracement. So it becomes our line in the sand, our level, where we can define and limit risk on a trade. If the market stays below that level, it remains, remains more bearish. If it moves above that, then all bets are off. We could see, or we should see, a move back up to test the 100-hour moving average. And if we move above that, we can head even higher for whatever reason um, or you know that the market feels but from a technical perspective that is my reason that is, is the, the reason is that we went above those levels and those levels define our risk and limit our risk and that's why we trade against technical levels so um so from uh, this point on we're currently trading at one 1224 moving back up toward that 33 level um, after moving down to test the 50 percent here um, if we move back above that 33 level that would be more bullish in trading here today if we stay below it or we go up and test it and start to move back to the downside we could see the price move move all the way down and test that 200 hour moving average that level comes in at the 111.82 level currently at the moment remember that level is also key why because just last week on Wednesday, right before the FOMC, the market found support against that level. So um, that's my uh, look at the euro versus US dollar uh, in trading here this morning. We'll see if the sellers come in against that 33 level and uh, force the market back to the downside. If not, we risked a little to make more than a little. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.